All right, guys, core training and proper range of motion, what should our focus be? So as you can see in the first couple of repetitions in this set, I'm dropping my body down to a certain angle and then I'm letting my heels drop to finish the repetition. Then I go from an arch position back to a hollow to go back up to complete that repetition. So this is two body positions, one from an arch going back to the hollow, opening my rib cage to create more range of motion. Later on in this set, I'm keeping my body completely straight and maintaining a hollow position the entire time, coming from the top all the way down, striking a hollow position and coming all the way back up. Now there's really two ways to look at this. First, are we trying to create just a strong core without any residual effects or any residual benefit on strengthening a specific body position? So if we're not trying to strengthen a specific body position, then I'm not going to suggest to you that you need to keep your ribs in and keep a hollow body position the entire time. But if you're trying to train core for all body weight strength, if you're a gymnast, a calisthenic athlete, anything, all of the above, and you want to maintain a hollow body position and get better at some of these skills, then my recommendation to you is keeping your body hollow the entire time. You don't need to open your rib cage to create greater range of motion to make your core stronger. What you need to do is find the position that you want to mimic and that you want to be strong all the time, which is a hollow body position, and maintain that through these difficult times of doing a skill like this or any time that you're doing something extreme for core training. So if you're skill oriented and that skill revolves around gymnastics or calisthenics, stay hollow, don't open the rib cage. If you want to do general core range of motion, make that range as big as possible and opening the rib cage is a good idea. Thanks for watching. Check out the next video.